I was looking at all the reviews last night and all of them talk about the sex. And the sex is something that people really will be talking about. Mm. And I, I, but it, none of it feels gratuitous. We've, we've not often seen love scenes between two men like this on television. And it doesn't feel gratuitous at all. And I wanted to ask, Robbie, I'll start with you. The sex scenes between these two men, which are, they go from tender to rough, the elements of sadomasochism. Mm -hmm. But what does that, what does their sex life tell us about them? I mean, we'll, we can all talk about this, but... Um, I only want you to talk about <laughs> <laughs> The sex Let's expert. You. <laughs> Did you hear that, Greg Berlanti? <laughs> you know, it's very much about power, obviously, and the power dynamic and the character. and But also for me, and you know, Ron can get into all that, but also for me, it's when you are living in a society and I very much felt this when I in my past life as a football as a soccer player when you're living in a society that tells you like what you are is like disgusting and you aren't accepted and you know you can't like the idea of even being in love with another man like how gross that is these are actually like words I've heard <laughs> in changing yeah. rooms so I'm, I'm quoting them when you finally get to be in that intimate moment and be with that person you love behind closed doors like a range of emotions can come out. And, and so like, whether that's aggression or very tender, you know, tender intimacy or just like passion. Like I, I think besides the other stuff that guys will, will discuss, you know, with the power dynamic and the character and moving the story forward, like that's also something we want to be very authentic to, you know, and not be salacious, but like to feel when, you know, you are tiptoeing down the state department hallway and afraid of being outed. Finally, when you find, you know, that Tim Laughlin in your life or that Hawkins Fuller, like that emotion can be uncontrollable. And I think like Dan and Ron and everyone on the team did a great job. The actors, obviously, especially like we're, we really, I think, portrayed that in an authentic way that I hope isn't like too salacious. Dan, how did you make them comfortable, the two actors? Well, we, first of all, we met, we talked through all the scenes and Ron and I had a very clear idea of what the dynamic was in every scene. Ron had a very strict um, mantra, which is that in every scene, there was a, an exchange of power. And so in the sex scenes in particular, you get to see that. Um, we rehearsed them. Uh, we, talk, we talked through them. We rehearsed them. And then we had an intimacy coordinator with us there on the day when we actually filmed them. So everything was really figured out. But the important thing to me was that, that they were joyful that they were transcendent somehow, you know, because they were, and that they were going to look, reveal the, you know, aspects of the characters, you know, Tim, who's devout Catholic, found the sex transcendent and found his, his, you know, being in Hawk's presence and, you know, transcendent. So it was important to me that, important to me that they were, they were more dimensional than you might normally see in, in a, in a series. 